हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेट लेक्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन वेटनरी पैरासाइटोलॉजी ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट द सरकारिया ऑफ सिस्टोसोमा स्पीसीज आर ऑप्शंस ए जिफिडियोटाइप ऑप्शंस बी जिम्नोसेफालस टाइप ऑप्शन सी फर्को सर्कस टाइप ऑप्शंस डी माइक्रो सर्कस टाइप द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज अ फर्को सर्कस टाइप ओके Uh, the cercaria of cystosoma species are actually furco cercus type. Uh, uh, that cystosoma species is also known as blood flu. Let's see some facts which is related to cystosoma. That is a uh, uh, all in in all the life cycle of that fluke that uh, the radii stage is absent in case of uh, uh, cystosoma. And in that uh, cystosoma species, male have a gynecophoric canal uh, in which that uh, female is lodged. Okay. Here are some example of cystosoma species. Along with their uh, definite locations in the definitive host, okay, uh, cystosoma indicum, which is a uh, which is located on portal vein and mesenteric vein of cattle. Uh, similarly, cystosoma spindle, which is located in mesenteric vein of ruminants and dog. Cystosoma incognitum, uh, which is located in mesenteric vein of pig and dog. Cystosoma nasalis, which is located on uh, nasal veins of ruminants and horses. Cystosoma hematobium, which is located in urinary bladder. Uh, Ornitho bilharzia. Bomphodi, which is located in mesenteric vein of ruminants. Similarly, Bivet tello bilharzia nairi, which is located in mesenteric vein of elephant. Okay. Uh, questions number two. <coughs> Sorry. And associations between the two individuals where each benefits from uh, others, but the association is not obligatory and independent existence by both is possible. Options A, symbiosis. Options B, commensalism. Options C. Uh, predatorism options d mutualism uh, the right answer is options uh, d that is a mutualism okay uh, and associations uh, that is between the two individuals where uh, each benefits from each other uh, but the association is not obligatory and uh, and the independent existence by both is possible that association is not as mutualism uh, here is a slight difference between mutualism and symbiosis is that that in case of that symbiosis uh, association is a uh, obligatory and uh, that uh, organisms uh, cannot exist independent without this association right? but in case of mutualisms they can uh, independently existence too okay uh, similarly an associations between uh, two organisms in which one is benefited completely while another has neither benefit nor loss such type of association is known as commensalisms and associations between two organism in which one is benefited and another is completely in loss uh that type of association is known as parasitic association okay uh question number 3 cyst is the product of option a sexual reproduction options b a sexual reproduction option c both a and b options d none uh the right answer is options b that is a sexual reproduction okay uh cyst is the product of uh, a sexual reproduction actually in case of sexual reproduction it is a ha haploids male gametes fused with that haploid female gametes lead to the formation of a diploid zygotes uh but in case of uh, that asexual uh, reproductions uh, that uh, product is actually uh, similar genetically similar to that of uh, uh, parents while in asexual reproduction uh, that uh, the product uh, uh, has some characteristic of male and some characteristic of that uh, another parents too uh, here some example of like asexual reproductions including like binary fission cloning budding fragmentation etc uh question number 4 complete uh, metamorphosis is seen in options a flies and flea options b tick and mite option c both a and b or options d none the right answer is options a that is a uh, flies and flea okay uh, there are two type of metamorphosis uh, that is a uh, complete and incomplete metamorphosis okay the complete metamorphosis actually occurs in four stages that is egg larva pupa adult which is actually seen in case of flies and flea while incomplete uh, metamorphosis um actually occurs in three stages uh, three stages that is a, there is a egg there is a nymph there is a adult uh that uh, pupa stage is up uh, pupa stage is absence in case of like incomplete uh, metamorphosis which is mainly seen in ticks and mite okay questions number 5 uh, presence of lapis behind each sucker is a features of options a monoiza expansa options b anaplocephala Perfoliata option C, Anaplocephala magna option D, Tenia solium. Uh, the right answer is option uh, B, that is Anaplocephala perfoliata. Okay. Uh, presence of lapis 
behind each sucker is actually the features of anaplocephala perfoliata. Uh, if we talk about anaplocephala, anaplocephala is actually the tap bum of uh, horses. Uh, their intermediate host is uh, oribatids mites. Uh, the larval stage is cysty circuits. Uh, they have a uh, uh, suckers, but they lacking hooks, and uh, they also lacking rostrum too. Okay. Uh, Anna, if we compare that Anna plosifala perfoliata along uh, with that Anna plosifala magna, then Anna plosifala perfoliata have uh, that uh, the lapis that is a four ear shaped lapis, uh, which is situated behind each sucker. While in case of Anna plosifala magna. They lacking lapis and uh, they are uh, as compared to anaplocephala perfilata, they are larger and wider. Okay, uh, let's talk about other two options that is Monaiza expansa and Tenia solium. Uh, there's in a Monaiza there are two type of species Monaiza expansa and Monaiza benedini. Uh, this uh, Monaiza is the double pore uh, type bomb of ruminant that is the two genitals, the two pairs of genital pores are present in case of a uh, uh, single worm. Okay. Their larval stage is uh, cysty circuits, okay. Uh, their egg contain a uh, pyriform apparatus, okay. Uh, if we see the shape of that Monaiza expansa egg, which is triangular in shape, while the Monaiza benedini egg is uh, like rectangular in shape, okay. Uh, while uh, Tenia solium, that is known as pork tip bomb, their uh, definitive host is uh, human and their intermediate host is pig, okay. Their larval stage is known as cysty circa cellulosae, okay. Uh, question number six. Dragging of anus against the ground is observed in options A, Dipylidium canina, options B, Tenia multicep, option C, Diphylobothrium latum, options D, Rhylitina tetragona. Uh, the right answer is option A, that is a Dipylidium uh, caninum. Okay. Uh, in case of uh, the uh, the dog which is infested with like Dipylidium caninum. Uh, which is a double pore tap bomb of uh, dog okay uh, we seen that that there's a uh, they drag their anus against the ground uh, because of itching okay and uh, it's a definitive host is actually dog and intermediate host mainly uh, flea tenocephalids families uh, okay or louse okay and uh, the gravid uh, segment if we see there's a gravid segment in feces a gravid segment actually that mature one segments okay uh, of this dipalidium canidum which is uh, resembles like a cucumber seeds, okay? And the uterus, uh, if you see that uterus, uh, that contain many capsule in case of like Dipalidium caninum, okay? Let's talk about uh, other options, that is a uh, Tenia melticeps. Tenia melticeps uh, uh, also have the definitive host dog, but their intermediate host is ship, and uh, their larval form is uh, Coenurus cerebralis, which is actually located in that uh, CNS, uh, and showing that neurological sign in that ship, okay? And uh, Another is Diphylobothrium latum, which is actually a tap bomb of a fish, and its definitive host is a dog, cat, man. Okay, uh, but their first intermediate host actually cyclops, and second intermediate host is freshwater fishes. Okay, uh, instead of a sucker, they have a two uh, two groups. Both three are present, therefore their name is Diphylobothrium. Okay, and vitelline gland. Uh, if we see their vitelline glands, which is diffuse. And uh, their genital pore is a presence which is located in midwinter regions. Okay, and the larval tap bomb is a uh, uh, there's two form of larval tap bomb that's a pro circuits which is found in like a uh, cyclops and uh, there's pleuro circuits form which is found in freshwater fish. Okay, and they mainly causes vitamin B12 deficiency in uh, uh, that fishes. Um, okay, and uh, if we see their egg, uh, they are operculated, there's an extra covering is located um, on that egg. Okay. Uh, next is Rhylitina tetragona, which is uh, actually tap bomb of a poultry. Their inter, uh, their definitive host is poultry. Their intermediate host is arthropods, uh, which is mainly uh, ant and uh, um, uh, others uh, like beetles. And if we see their suckers, they are oval in shape. Okay. Questions number seven. Uh, Misli beef is caused by option A, cysty circus cellulosi. Options B, cysty circus cerebralis. Option C, cysty circuits. Option D, cysty circus bobis. The right answer is options D, that is a cysty circus bobis. Okay. Uh, Misli beef is actually caused by cysty circus bobis. Uh, that is a uh, tenia saginata. Uh, tenia saginata, which is also known as like beef. Uh, a tip bomb. Uh, if we see that step bomb, that is a there, there is no hook, so there is a hookless tenia. The definitive host is man and intermediate host is cattle, and uh, the larval stage is cystic circus bobis. Okay. Uh, questions number eight. Uh, Heterarchus gallini is associated with the transmission of option A, Histomonas meleagridis, options B, Trichomonas gallini, option C, coccidiosis, options D, none. 
the right answer is option A, that is histomonas meliagridis. Okay. Uh, histomonas meliagridis causes histomoniasis, which is known as black head disease. Uh, it is an important uh, disease, mainly affected uh, like turkey, but it also affects chickens and games birds too. Uh, it's mainly caused by protoza, that is histomonas meliagridis, uh, which is transmitted uh, by um, uh, that uh, the roundworm, uh, which is known as Heterakis gali nerum. Okay. Uh, let's talk about another um, options that is Trichomonas gallini. Uh, Trichomonas, uh, Trichomonas gallini, uh, their primary host is actually pigeons and they mainly caused a specific disease in pigeons that is canker. Okay, and this uh, uh, Trichomonas gallini is found in a uh, two form that is a motile uh, feeding form that is trophocytes forms and there's a non motile uh, pseudocystis form. Okay, uh, another option is coccidiosis. Uh, coccidiosis in poultry is caused by uh, actually imeria species, while isospora species uh, uh, mainly cause uh, coccidiosis in a uh, dog. Okay, um, according to their uh, that species, their that infective site in that uh, poultry is uh, varies. Okay, uh, imeria tenila mainly infect uh, sick of poultry, while imeria nicatrix mainly affect like anterior and middle portion of small intestine. Similarly, Imeria acervulina uh, mainly affect upper half of the small intestine. Imeria bruneti mainly lower small intestine, rectum, cica, and cloaca. Imeria maxima uh, that is small intestine. Okay. Questions number nine. Pimply gut in cattle is caused by option A, monoza expansion. Options B, Toxocara vitulorum. Option C, Osophagostoma meridiatum. Options D, both B and C. The right answer is option C, that is uh, Osophagostoma radiata. Okay. Uh, therefore, it is known as a nodular worm of ruminant 2. Uh, if you do that uh, rectal palpations um, of the cattle, which is infected with this uh, osophagostomum um, radiata, you find like nodules on their uh, on, on their large intestine. Okay, pimply gut in cattle is caused by osophagostomum radiata, which is uh, primarily infect the large intestine. Uh, they penetrate the large intestine uh, mucosa, resulting in a formation of uh, like nodules, which is actually cases nodules. If you cut that nodules, you find there is a, some kind of uh, um, uh, deposition. Okay. Second option is Toxocara vitulorum, which causes neoascaresis. Okay. Uh, Toxocara vitulorum is a large, robust parasite of cattle and buffalo. Questions number 10. Smallest step bomb of a poultry is option A, Rhylitina tetragona, options B, Cotugnia diagonophora, option C, Devenia proglutinum, option D, none. The right answer is option C, that is a Devenia uh, proglutina, okay. Uh, smallest step bomb of a poultry, that is Devenia proglutina. Uh, its definitive host is actually poultry and intermediate host is ant, okay. Uh, it's a smallest uh, step bomb, uh, only consists of uh, 4 to 9 proglutids only. And it is most pathogenic tape bomb of poultry too, okay. While Cotugnia diagonopora is a double pore tape bomb of a poultry. Questions number 11. Hum sore in cattle is caused by option A, Habronima. Options B, Stefano filaria species. Option C, Drastia species. Options D, Auxiris species. Uh, the right answer is options B, that is Stefano filaria species, okay. Uh, Hamsor in cattle is actually caused by Stephanophilaria species. This Stephanophilaria species is a uh, small uh, filarial parasites uh, that mainly uh, cause dermatitis, which is actually that circle in shape, that circular shape, circumscribed dermatitis. And they also affect the ventral uh, midline of the cattle, ventral part of the cattle, okay. And uh, uh, let's talk about another option that is Habronima and uh, Drastia, which is also like uh, uh, known as uh, that equine stomach worm. You know? They mainly infect that uh, the mucosal lining of the stomach and uh, uh, causes uh, gastritis, which is actually a cateral gastritis. Uh, if you that see that gastritis, there is a mucosy gastritis. Okay, and uh, uh, while Drastia can also cause a tumor like swelling uh, that along the marcoplicatus uh, marcoplicatus is that uh, the uh, which uh, divided the small intestine in uh, two equal part okay but this parasites has a uh, uh, rearing domestic horses um, 
in their gastric stage this hebronema parasites uh, uh, really cause uh, that clinical problem but uh, this species mainly found uh, to cause like cutish, cutaneous condition that skin infections uh, uh, therefore this is also known as summer sore if the questions come as like summer sores in uh, horses caused by then you will definitely take that hebronema okay and uh, uh, let's talk about auxiliary species this is actually that uh, pin bomb of equine okay Questions number 12. The credit of discovery of a protozoa goes to option A, robot hook, options B, Smith and Kilborn, option C, Chitwood, options D, Levenwick. The right answer is option uh, D, that is a uh, uh, Levenwick. Okay. The credit of discovery of a protozoa, protozoa is actually single cells unicellular organisms, which is goes to Levenwick. Okay, uh, that if we see that talk about robot hook, robot hook actually discovered that dead cells. While Levin Wick discovered like living cells and the uh, uh, Sildens and such ones actually uh, give the theory of cellular totipotential, which means that uh, the uh, one cells can produce another cells. Uh, that type of theory is given by such Dean and such one. And uh, if we see that hook contribution, hook also discovered plant cells too. And hook is also known for his invention, which is a modern microscope. Okay. And Smith and Kilborn, uh, uh, which actually discovered that uh, the uh, like uh, this protozoal diseases, uh, that's babesiosis, thaleriosis, and anaplasmosis, is actually uh, transmitted uh, by a that is a vector uh, from one cattle to another, and that vector is actually uh, that uh, the tick. Okay, this was found by Smith and Kilborn. Uh, questions number thirteen. Outer layer of a body cuticle of tip bum is option E, homogeneous. Options B, syncytium. Option C, granular. Option C, straighted. Uh, the right answer is option B, that is syncytium. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, in in case of the tap tap bum, they are the body. Uh, their outer covering of the body that is cuticle is covered, huh, which is a uh, uh, also known as a uh, teguments and uh, which is responsible for the absorption of nutrients and uh, because this uh, uh this step bumps is uh lacking their elementary canal okay and if we see that's a uh, cuticle this cuticle is syncytial syncytial uh, means like there's a fusion of uh, there's a in single cells contain multiple of nucleus okay is it is it, it is possible because of the fusion of like uh different uh more cells and which lead to formation of multinucleated structures okay uh let's see some another characteristic of a tape bump uh, tape bomb is actually long, uh, segmented, uh, tape-like structure. They are uh, dorsoventrally flattened, and uh, if we see their uh, size, which is uh, varies from a few mm to several meter too, uh, and if we see their body, which is divided into three regions, that is a there is a head, there is a neck portion, and there is a body portion. Body portion is known as strobila, uh, which is uh, consists of uh, different types of uh, segments. That segment is known as a uh, proglottids. And if we see that uh, single segments, uh, that is hermaphrodite in nature. That is a both female and male reproductive organs are present in that single segments. Okay. And elementary canal and body cavity is completely absent. Therefore, uh, they absorb their nutrients by means of their cuticles, which is known as teguments. And if we see their excretory and nervous systems, uh, they are present in a rudimentary form, not uh, completely developed. Okay. Questions number 14. Kinetoplast is absence in which of the following? Options A. Trypanosoma equipoda. Options B. Trypanosoma equinum. Option C. Trypanosoma brucei. Options D. Trypanosoma avium. The right answer is option uh, uh, B. That is Trypanosoma equinum. Okay. Kinetoplast is absence in case of uh, that Trypanosoma equinum. If we talk about kinetoplast, kinetoplast is nothing. It's just a uh, specialized uh, uh, reasons which is present in that mitochondria and they mainly uh, that contain that mitochondrial DNA in it okay and uh, if we talk about that uh, trypanosoma equinum uh, this trypanosoma equinum mainly cause a uh, maldi cadres disease in that horses and uh, which is actually transmitted by mean of tabinets flies okay while uh, trypanosoma Equipodums is mainly responsible for the transmission of disease dowry, which is actually uh, uh, that is uh, uh, sexual transmitted disease, and uh, it is transmitted from animal to animal uh, during coitus. Okay, and it is a uh, primarily a tissue parasites. It is not uh, found. If we 
check the blood we cannot find this uh, trypanosoma equipedum okay and uh, now trypanosoma brucei actually cause african trypanosomiasis which is known as a sleeping sickness and which is mainly uh, transmitted by testis fly that is glossina species similarly trypanosoma avium uh, this is uh, this uh, actually itself characterized that it's cause uh, it is a trypanosoma which is seen in birds it's mainly characterized by that incapability of a flying high poor appetite lethargy uh, losing weight weakness dyspnea and that okay questions number 15 trypanosoma brucei on uh, question number 15 sorry uh, echinococcus granulosus is options a a tap bomb of cattle options b of zoonotic important option c the largest tap bomb options d of non uh, of no significance the right answer is options b that is of genetic importance okay uh echinococcus uh, granulosus is actually a tap bomb uh whose definitive host is dog and its intermediate host is uh, mammals that's ungulates and also it's included its man so it's genetic in nature okay and if we see there's larval stage that is in a hydrated hydrated cyst okay and uh, uh, its site in intermediate host that is in case of ungulates and man uh it's mainly found in case of lungs and a uh, liver and if we see there so uh, that hydrated cyst that's larval tap bomb uh that they are large in size and they are uh, suckers uh, that's without hook that's ana okay and if we see their ovary which is specified in kidney shape so this type of questions like uh, uh which uh, parasites uh, ovaries kidney shape it's uh, such type of questions can also be asked so our right answer must be echinococcus granulosus okay uh question number 16 indo diogeny is found in which of the following options a sarcocystic cruzi options b sarcocystic hominis option c toxoplasma gondii options d all uh the right answer is option sir d that is all okay indo diogeny is found in uh, that's all species uh, that is a sarcocystic cruzi sarcocystic hominis and toxoplasma gondii too what is this indo diogeny uh, means Endodiogenesis is actually a process of uh, asexual reproductions, uh, which involve an unusual process in which uh, actually uh, two daughter cells are formed from a single uh, mother cells inside a the mother cells, and uh, which is then consumed uh, by the offspring. Offspring that consume that mother cells and uh, lead to the formation of the two daughter cells. Okay. uh if we uh, that endodiogeny if we see that endodiogeny is along with its cytogeny uh, so in case of cytogeny uh, many daughter cells are formed okay definitive host of uh, toxoplasma gondii uh, is which of the following options a man options b dog option c cat options d bird uh the right answer is option c that is cat okay toxoplasma gondii and sarcocystic cruzi uh that uh, both are comes under like family uh, sarcocystidae okay and if we talk about their definitive host of toxoplasma gondii uh, which is the feline family that is a cat okay and the intermediate host is uh, almost all warm blooded animal and toxoplasma gondii mainly causes uh, abortions um while sarcocystic cruzi uh, the definitive host is cattle and they mainly cause uh, dalmeni disease okay uh questions number 18 prenatal transmission is seen in options a toxocara canis options b encyclostoma caninum option c strong gyloides ransomi or options d all uh, the right answer is option uh, d that is all uh, prenatal transmission is seen in case of uh, this all uh, or that is a toxocara canis encyclostoma caninum and strong gyloides ransomi or stercoralis okay and uh, what is this prenatal transmission prenatal transmission is nothing uh, that is a trans uh, mission of this uh, parasites from the uh, mother to their offspring okay uh, during that uh, uh, their um, pregnancy period okay uh, this uh, toxocara canis uh, is also known as dog round bug uh, it's mainly infect dogs and also another canids like uh, the fox right but also it's uh, also in fact other animal in uh, two that is a humans uh, as a paratonic host okay and no uh, there is a paratonic host means like there is no any uh, developmental um, uh, occurs in that host of this uh, parasites but they can remain as a transport host okay and the disease is actually caused by uh, toxocara uh, canis larva 
and uh, this result in the in, in two syndrome that is a visceral larva migrant and ocular larva migrant form okay and second is and if we talk about encyclostoma caninum which is known as a hookworm of dog uh, which primarily infect uh, the small intestine of dog okay a strong gyloids rensomi or ester coralis which is known as threadworm and uh, it's also classified as a soil transmitted helminth okay uh, questions number 19 Spinous ear tick is mainly pathogenic in which of the following stage? Options A, larval stage. Options B, nymphal stage. Option C, both A and B. Or options D, adult stage. The right answer is option C. That is a uh, both uh, A and B. Okay. Uh, Spinous ear tick, which is known as Otobius magnini. Uh, it is a soft tick. It is a soft body tick, and uh, uh, this is mainly a uh, a parasitic in case of uh, both states like larval and nymphal states and uh, it's a constant source of uh, like uh, irritations causing irritation to the definitive host that is horse cattle sheep goat and dog are the definitive host of this tick okay uh, as with many soft tick uh, if we see the mouth part from the uh, dorsal view we cannot see their mouth part that mouth part is not visible from the dorsal view of this tick and if we see their uh, nymphal stage uh, because Uh, in this case of tick, there is a incomplete metamorphosis occurs, so there is a pupa stage absence, so there is a nymph stage. Okay, and if you see that nymph, this is a violin shape, um, and uh, there is a uh, with a tiny, small, small backward projecting spines uh, that covering all the body of this nymph. So it is uh, the name is given from this uh, uh, because of this spine that is spinous. Okay, and uh, this ticks. Uh, uh, is a single host tick they they need only one uh, host for their complete uh, the life cycle okay questions number uh, 20 aneurysm in cranial mesenteric artery in equine is seen due to the infections with option c strong gyllus equinus option b strong gyllus identitatis option c strong gyllus vulgaris or options d all the right answer is option c that is strong gyllus vulgaris okay strong gyllus vulgaris is a Uh, one of the three strong gyllus species which mainly infect horses other two species like strong gyllus identitatis and strong gyllus equinus okay strong gyllus vulgaris also known as like a blood worm of horse okay its migrating larva mainly causes arteritis that is inflammation of arteries of the anterior uh, mesenteric artery uh, which is located in the small intestine iliac artery and uh, the base of the aorta as well as occasionally it is found in uh, cerebral Uh, renal and coronary artery too okay while uh, strong gyllus identitatis and strong gyllus equinus uh, really causes a uh, clinical uh, diseases in horses okay questions number uh, 21st the chief cause of strike in the sheep is options a larva of musca options b larva of sarcophaga option c larva of lucilia options d all the right answer is option c that is larva of lucilia species okay larva of lucilia species cause uh, strike in the ship okay uh, blow fly strike uh, that is a serious conditions this is affecting ship of all ages it is mainly caused by the uh, larva that is a maggot of the uh, lucilia sericata green bottle fly or also known as blow fly which mainly affect the uh, fleshes of the ship okay uh, if we see that uh, another option like larva of sarcophaga species uh which is a small whitish worm and uh, uh, prior to its metamorphosis it spends life cycle uh, feeding on that uh, decaying meat therefore the term sarcophaga is come that sarco means dead and phaga means eating so de decaying meat eating so there is a sarcophaga species okay questions number 22 which of the following is a short nose cattle louse option a hematopenus uristernus option b hematopenus tuberculatus option c linognetus uh, vituli option c none the right answer is option c uh, a that is hematopenus uh, uristernus okay uh um that is a tick uh, tick is known as like uh, theraptera mm, theraptera order okay which mainly uh, consists of two type of tick that is sucking lice uh, uh, sorry lice okay uh, there is a two type of lice that is anoplura lice which is known as a uh, sucking lice which is mainly found only in mammal but uh, malophaga which is a biting lice which is found in both mammals and birds okay uh if we see that uh, sucking lice 
दॅट इज अ हॅमॅटोपिनस युरिस्टनस विच इज नॉन एज शॉर्ट नोज लाउस अँड इट्स ऑल्सो लाईक लार्जेस्ट लाउस ऑफ डोमेस्टिक मॅमल्स अँड लॉंग नोज लाउस इज लिग्नोनॅथस वायल सोलिनो पोटेस इज दॅट स्मॉल ब्लूइश लाईस ओके and if we see that's biting lice of mammal uh, then it is a, a damalinia which is a found in a cattle sheep goat equine uh, uh, and uh, felicola which is found in cat uh, trichodactus or heterodactus which is found in dog okay and uh, if we see that's biting lice of uh, bird then uh, uh, lipeurus lipeurus is that uh, which is found on wings of birds so wings lice uh cuclo uh, logester which is uh, found in a head of a bird so head louse uh, mina canthus which is found on a body of a bird so body louse goniocotus which is found on fluffy area of the uh, blood so fluff louse a uh, minopon which is found on shaft area of the louse that is shaft louse or domestic fowl okay and uh, goniodids uh, which is mainly found on uh, pigeons and dogs columbicola uh, which is also found in pigeons and dogs holominopon which is found on duck uh, and uh, uh, the louse infestation is typically the word is given to that louse infestation condition that is known as pediculosis okay questions number 23 uh, in prostogonimus ovatus the genital opening is situated at options a behind ventral sucker options b by the side of oral sucker option c below the oesophagus intestinal junction options d posterior end the right answer is options b that is a uh, by the side of oral sucker okay in prostogonimus ovatus the genital opening is situated by the side of oral suckers okay prostogonimus ovatus is a uh, actually species of trematodes or fluke worm it also most pathogenic parasites of birds okay and uh, uh, if we see their ventral sucker which is a uh, is in the anterior half of the body anterior half of the body is upper sides okay and uh, like the trematodes uh, radial stage is absent in case of this uh, life cycle of prostogonimus ovatus okay and if we see their uh, vitel area uh, which is actually uh, located on that uh, lateral side and it's like a uh, grapes bunch form okay and there is a two intermediate uh, host are presence of prostogonimus ovatus that is a first intermediate is a water snail and second is the nymphal stage of dragonfly uh there's a, they found in the nymphal stages of dragonfly okay and uh, uh adult uh, they found in a definitive host actually they found uh, it's actually location in that like uh, oviduct ov- and uh, bursa fabricus and also posterior part of the intestine okay um this much about uh, prostogonimus ovatus uh question number 24 the trematode in which uh, merasidium stage is already developed inside egg when led is option a proglotrema species options b fasciolopsis species option c cystosoma species options d none the right answer is options a that is a proglotrema uh, species okay proglotrema species also known as nanophytus uh, salminolopola it is actually a uh, food worm it's a transmitted via food uh, intestinal trematode parasites and it's require uh, three types of hosts to complete this life cycle there's a first intermediate host is snail uh, second host is a uh, salmonid fish so that uh, it is associated with that what like salmon poisoning disease and its definitive host includes uh, mammals as well as uh, canids and humans too okay and uh, uh, if we see there's a uh, adult they lay like adult lay egg uh, it's normal that adult lay egg within a vertebrate uh, that uh, this vertebrate uh, passes this egg in feces okay definitely host uh, that adult always lay egg in a definitely host you know, which is that mammals and canids okay uh, and they passes egg in feces and this uh, uh, the first larval stage which is a merasidium stage uh, which is a uh, develops within a egg okay merasidium stage already developed within a egg okay uh, it's not that hatching and formation of the merasidium stage that merasidium stage is already developed within the egg so uh, proglotrema acutum uh, is associated with like a uh, neorickettsia helminthiuca disease which is transmitted uh, by this uh, tro- uh, proglotrema acutum fluke and it is found in uh, frontal and ethmoidal sinus of fox okay and if we see their host there are two intermediate host for the proglotrema uh, acutum that is snail and uh, fish 
and definitely was the same as like canids and other mammals including humans okay and let's talk about uh, another option that is a uh, uh, fasciolopsis which is also known as giant intestinal fluke okay uh, it's a common parasite of uh, human and pig and it is uh, mainly found in uh, small intestine so there's an intestinal fluke giant because in large in size and if we see their cica which is a unbranched cica okay and uh, we already discussed about cystosoma that is a blood fluke uh, in previous questions so in this uh, case i don't uh, talk about like cystosoma questions number uh, 25 in uh, fasciola zygentica the intermediate host is options a ant options b land snail options b a option c aquatic snail options d oribatids mites uh the right answer is option uh, c that is aquatic snail okay fasciola hepatica which is also known as common liver fluke or ship liver fluke fasciola gigantica which is mainly known as uh, like large uh, because from gigantica is also always uh, giant that is a large liver fluke okay uh, fasciola hepatica mainly found in tarai regions while fasciola gigantica mainly found in uh, that uh, himalaya regions okay hilly regions sorry uh, not himalaya and uh, if we uh, if we see their location they mainly found in bile duct gall bladder and their shape is are that uh, leaf shaped uh, form na? okay and their definitive host is cattle sheep and buffalo uh, the intermediate host is fresh water snail of a family uh, limnidae okay if we see their life cycle first uh, that adult laid on embryonated egg this egg uh, uh, transmit to the embryonated egg and when then egg is hatched they form miracidium larva uh, then sporocyst form is formed and then radia and sarcaria and metasarcaria and adult okay this metasarcaria stage is infective stage because it infect that the adult uh, that uh, definitive host okay and uh, worm and uh, they are uh, let's see some worms along with their intermediate host okay uh, if we see that anaplocephalides uh, 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 phalidia and this uh, this actually in fact uh, that horse okay horse step uh, tap bomb anacephala perfiliota anaplocephala magna paranacephala okay and their intermediate host is oribatids mites similarly if we see that uh, the devinidia okay they includes devinia proglutina relitina tetragona relitina echinobothridia cotugna digonophora and they mainly uh, in fact their definitive host is always poultry okay and the intermediate host mainly includes small insects arthropods like ants beetles etc okay uh, dilapi didium which mainly includes dipalidium caninum which uh, uh, which uh, whose intermediate host is uh, fleas or louse quanotenia infundibulum whose intermediate host is musca domestica and beetle amoibotenia whose intermediate host is arthropoda okay and if we see that uh, diphyllidia uh, which mainly include diphyllobothrium latum Who's a uh, who's has two intermediate host? First is cyclops and second is a uh, freshwater fishes. Okay. Questions number are twenty six. The larval stage, Cystis circus tenuculis, is of option A. Tenia pisciformis. Options B. Tenia cerealis. Option C. Tenia hydatigina. Options D. Tenia saginata. Ah, uh, the right answer is uh, options uh, C. That is Tenia hydatigina. Okay. uh let's see that larval stage of uh, tenides okay tenia saginata uh, larval stage known as cysticercus bovis tenia solium larval stage cysticercus cellulosi tenia multiceps uh, larval stage is coenurus cerebralis tenia hydatigina larval stage is cysticercus tenicolis tenia ovis uh, larval stage is cysticercus ovis tenia pisciformis larval stage is cysticercus pisciformis tenia cerealis larval stage is coenura cerealis tenia tenia formis larval stage is strobilo circus or cysti circus fasciolaris echinococcus granulosus larval stage hydatidsis echinococcus multicularis also larval stage is hydatidsis okay question number 27 intestinal nodules are produced by options a amoibotenia options b quanotenia infundibulum option c relatina echinobothridia options d relatina cysticellus The right answer is option C. That is Rhylitina echinobothridia. Okay, Rhylitina echinobothridia uh, produce that's nodule intestinal nodules. Therefore, it is known as nodular tap bomb of a poultry. Okay, let's talk about other options. That Amoebotenia species. Their intermediate host is poultry, and their inter their definitive host is poultry, and their intermediate host is earthworm. 
And if you see that, so the uterus of Amabatania, that's a sac like, uh, roughly triangular in shape. Uh, they have a few testes, a smaller few testes, and uh, they have a rostellum, which is a armed rostellum, that is, they contain hook, okay. Quanotania infundibulum, their definitive host is poultry, intermediate host is uh, musca domestica and beetles. And if we see their suckers, uh, they lacking uh, that hooks, so that is uh, unarmed. And they can their uterus contain many capsules. Okay, Rhylitina cysticella, the definitive host is poultry. Intermediate host is orthopods, and they do not bear hooks. Okay, they are unarmed. Okay. Questions number twenty eight. Pseudocilum of the nematode contain the fluid under pressure that varies up to options A, one third atmosphere above that of the surrounding medium. Options B. Uh, one half atmosphere uh, above that the surrounding medium. Option C, one fourth atmosphere above that of the surrounding medium. Or option D, one sixth atmosphere above that of the surrounding medium. The right answer is option B. That is one half of atmosphere uh, above that the surrounding medium. Pseudocilum of the uh, nematode that uh, is a characteristic of the nematode. The pseudocilum of the nematode actually contain uh, silomocyte cells. Which are unique type of cells. Uh, if we see their shape, they are ovoid in shape, and uh, also they are branched too. And uh, they provide uh, that target hydrostatic pressure for the animal as a whole, and also function as a lubricants between a tissue and a medium for intercellular signaling and a nutrient transport too. Okay, so fluid presence of pseudocilum is a specific character of uh, nematodes. Uh, nematodes. Okay. Uh, questions number twenty nine. Uh, that average blood sucked by one parasite per day in Hamoncus contotus is options A, 0.001 ml, options B, 0.1 ml, option C, 0.5 ml or 0.05 ml. The right answer is option C, that is 0.05 ml, okay. That uh, one Hamoncus parasites, uh, Hamoncus contotus uh, that absorbs blood around that 0.05 ml, okay. Hamoncus contotus, also known as barber pole's worm. Uh, because uh, uh, they have a white uh, ovary uh, which uh, that uh, coil around the uh, blood free intestine so it's look like a barber pole barber pole is actually uh, that status statue okay and it's common and uh, most pathogenic nematodes of uh, ruminants okay and uh, this hamancos contotus adult worm that attaches on uh, abumaza and uh, feed on blood and responsible for anemia, edema, and death of infected sheep and goats. Okay, female, uh, if you see that's female, that's lay uh, about 10,000 eggs a day, uh, which passes in a feces after hatching a larva mold in a several times, resulting in a formation of L3 larva, which is actually that infective stage. Infective stage, that those stages which infect the definitive host. Okay, question number 30. Cerebrospinal uh, nematodiasis is caused by immature stage of option A. Trichinella spiralis, options B. Strong guileless species, option C. Uh, Setaria, options B. A, options D. Habrinima. Uh, the right answer is uh, option uh, C, that is Setaria species. Okay. Uh, Setaria species uh, um, is um, found to causing like cerebrospinal uh, nematodiasis uh, in case of horse, sheep, and uh, goat. Uh, but their natural host is uh, cattle and uh, this parasites actually are uh, transmitted to this uh, horses sheep and goat uh, uh, through like blood sucking uh, insects or that mosquito and uh, um, and they can migrate uh, to the cns uh, of this uh, this aberrant host and uh, causing cerebrospinal uh, nematodiasis and showing that uh, uh, neurological sign uh, okay in this aberrant host okay uh, let's talk about another option that is Trichinella spiralis. Uh, Trichinella spiralis actually a viviparous nematode parasites. The term viviparous itself say that they do not produce a uh, egg. They directly give birth to that uh, the uh, another uh, the parasites directly. Okay, and they occurring in rodents, pig, bear, hyenas, and humans. If we see that's the adult worm. Uh, this adult worm mature in a small intestine of the definitive host like pig. Okay. And uh, an adult female uh, produces uh, uh, batches of live larva, which actually that uh, bore uh, through the intestinal wall and then enter to the blood, feed that blood and uh, lymphatic system. They also enter to the lymphatic systems and then they via that blood and that uh, lymph, they carry to the stated muscles. And uh, in that, when they reach to the muscles, they get insisted and become uh, enclosed in a capsule form. Okay. 
and uh, uh, human get infected uh, of this uh, trichinellis spiralis by eating this infected pork uh, horse meat or this uh, wild carnivora such as fox cat hyena or bear meat okay uh, that's much for today uh, in part one uh, i will uh, come soon with part two uh, okay